Drum roll, please. Welcome to our Aki Mechanical Gaming Keyboard Review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Aki KMG6 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Is this the best RGB gaming keyboard of 2021? Well, I guess you'll have to stick around for the full video to find out. The Aki KMG6 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard is an extremely affordable entry-level gaming keyboard. It is a full-size 104-key keyboard that is made up out of ABS and steel. The plate inside is steel, not the whole exterior which makes this though highly sturdy and pretty heavy. As you can see here, unlike most keyboards in this price range, which tend to resemble Laffy Taffy when I give it the good old Ben test. This one, not so much. The keyboard connects up to your computer via a type A USB cable, which we will plug in now. And once you plug it in, this keyboard is ready to rock with RGB lighting. You don't have to install any software on your machine to get this going. All the RGB lighting controls are actually done on the keyboard. The keycaps themselves are not individual RGB lights, but there are six different rows of RGB coloring. All right, top row, blue, purple, green, orange, pink, Red, you got it. While there is not a lot of variety in the keycap colors, there are in the different RGB modes. Utilizing the FN key, you can cycle through different patterns for different gaming modes, like your standard WASD, as well as a number of other different options that all highlight keys that are important to gaming. In addition, using the nine and zero key plus the FN key, you can program your own custom modes. So if I select LR1 and then FN and the home, you'll see that the 1A and down LED lights in the top right hand corner start flashing. This means I can go and select whatever keys I would like to light up for my custom mode. And then once I've selected all the keys that I would like, I can select FN as well as the S or the N key. And that saves my own custom lighting mode, which I can go back and select by going to the LR1, which is where I have this mode saved. This is where the fun starts when we go to the FN and then the INS key, which is labeled M, which allows us to cycle through nine different RGB lighting modes, which involves some sort of movement. If we cycle through the different modes, you're sure to find one that tickles your fancy. But if you want to adjust things like brightness as well as speed, you can do that using the arrow keys. So the up and down arrow keys will help you adjust brightness and then the right and left arrow keys will help you adjust the speed of the animation. Not a ton of adjustability, like you're not adjusting from 0 to 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%. It's more like 0, 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and 100%. Well, RGB lighting is cool, let's talk about the actual build and functionality. Overall, as I mentioned earlier, very sturdy construction, but one thing I didn't mention is that this keyboard is water resistant. So while you shouldn't do... Wow, that was a really well-timed flush. So while you shouldn't flush this keyboard down the toilet, if you do spill your drink on it, it's probably fine. The actual design of the keycaps, as well as the feel of the keycaps, is pretty on par with other keyboards that I've used. No major complaints or compliments in that area. But where I will compliment is their use of actual OETMO blue switches. Unlike most keyboards in this price range, which don't use actual on-brand Outtemu switches, this does, and it is awesome. Let's learn a little more. Blue switches are characterized by their ultra-fast response, satisfying key travel, and crisp click as the key press is registered. Blue switches are louder and more tactile than all other classes of switch, particularly red switches and brown switches. They are also easier to actuate than black and green switches, which makes them more suitable for long-term use. For your information, these feature 2.2 millimeters of pre-travel, 4 millimeters of actuator travel, and 50 cn actuation force with a 50 million keystroke lifespan. So what does that mean? Chances are this keyboard will outlive your gaming career. On a more serious note, I actually really enjoyed the feel of this keyboard. My previous keyboard was red switches, and to be honest, I really didn't know what I was missing up until this point. Not only did I find that I was able to type faster on the blue switches, but I also found my gaming experience to be more favorable. While this was a bit louder than my previous daily driver keyboard, I am actually going to be making this my daily driver from here on out until I get to review a better keyboard than this. Yes, I believe that 
this is the best keyboard that we have reviewed thus far. And if you've been to our channel before, which you probably haven't because you aren't subscribed, go hit that subscribe button, you know that we have reviewed a fair amount of keyboards in our day. This will be my keyboard though from here on out till we get something more expensive, better. Stick around in the future, we'll have more videos. The switches themselves, great for gaming, great for typing, all around great keyboard. One big thing that I do have to note for you gamers though is that this features full N key rollover. That's right, 104 non-conflict keys, so you don't have to worry about your keyboard tripping you up while gaming. While this keyboard is good for gaming, I will admit that it is not a miracle worker. I still need to be carried in League of Legends, so comment your username down below. The last thing that I want to mention is Aki as a whole. Overall, we've reviewed a fair amount of Aki products, and through those reviews have realized that they make quality products. But what is even more important is that when there's something wrong, their customer service does respond. In our dealings with Aki, which we're not sponsored by them, we do have to purchase the these products and if we run into any issues, they have responded to our customer service inquiries, which would be the same process that you would follow. And through those interactions, we've realized that they're pretty responsive and do make amends with their customers when something is wrong. That's just our experience though. If you've experienced anything different, comment that down below. We wanna hear about it. To recap, this is an extremely affordable entry-level gaming keyboard that is made out of ABS and steel, features RGB lighting, the Outemu Blue Switch Switches, which are great for gaming, great for typing, water resistant, plenty of RGB modes. We hope you enjoyed this Aki Mechanical Gaming Keyboard review. If you have any questions that we didn't answer in the video, comment those down below. Additionally, if you did think this is the best RGB Mechanical Gaming Keyboard of 2021, we want to hear that down below. If you have better options though that we should review in the future, comment those down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like on it and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content because there will be more, including more gaming keyboards, headsets, mice, you name it, we'll review it within reason. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you in the next one. As always, bird out.